In this lesson, I'll show you how to prove the complementary function and particular integral of a differential equation. The question reads, given the solution of y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y is equal to 3x is equal to the following equation, where the equation has a complementary function and a particular integral, prove by substitution that a, the complementary function will make the left side of the given equation to 0 and b, the particular integral will make the left side equal to 3x. Let's start with question A. They want us to prove that the complementary function will make the left side equal to 0. So what I will do is take the complementary function portion of this equation and take its derivative twice. So we have y is equal to c1 e to the power of 3x plus c2 e to the power of 2x. I'll take the derivative of this, y prime, and this gives me c1 e to the power of 3x, and taking the derivative of 3x, we end up with 3, plus c2 e to the power of 2x, taking the derivative of 2x, we end up with 2. Next, I'll take the second derivative. Once again, we have 3 times c, subscript 1, e to the power of 3x times 3, plus 2, c subscript 2, e to the power of 2x times 2. I'll substitute all three of these into the left side of this equation, and let's see what happens. We end up with 3 times 3, c subscript 1, e to the power of 3x, plus 2 times 2, c subscript 2, e to the power of 2x. I just substituted this side into here, and now I'll take minus 5 times this content where I have the following expression. I will expand this shortly, but I do want to insert this last part of this equation into here. And if I do that, I end up with plus 6 bracket c subscript 1 e to the power of 3x plus c subscript 2 e to the power of 2x. And this should equal to 0. Let's see what happens. This becomes 9 c subscript 1 e to the power of 3x. This becomes the following expression. Multiplying this negative 5 into these two terms gives us, notice that I multiplied this negative 5 and this 3 and it became negative 15, and this negative 5 and this 2 became negative 10. And similarly, multiplying this out, we end up with, and this is all equal to 0. Now we will collect like terms. So this term, this term, this term are all alike, and these three terms are all alike. Only considering the coefficients, we have 9 minus 15, that is equal to negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So that part's equal to 0. 4 minus 10 is negative 6, plus 6 gives us another 0. So that proves part A. In part B, they want us to prove that the particular angle, which is this part, will make the left side equal to 3x. To do this, I'll set this equal to y and take its derivative twice. We have y prime is equal to x over 2 becomes 1 over 2. 5 over 12 becomes 0. That's y prime. y double prime, taking the derivative of half, gives us 0. So now, I'll substitute these values into here. y double prime, we said is equal to 0, minus 5 times half plus 6 times this expression, x over 2 plus 5 over 12, and this is supposed to equal to 3x. Negative 5 times half is negative 2.5. 6 times x over 2 is 3x, and 6 times 5 over 12, that's 30 over 12, 30 over 12. The like terms here, our negative half and 30 over 12. Using our calculator for that, we have negative 2.5 plus 30 over 12. That gives us zero. Therefore, we have 3x is equal to 3x. And there you have it. That is how to prove the complementary function and the particular integral of a differential equation.